Hey guys, so today I want to give you this video about spirits and about our past loved ones. So as a psychic medium, my work is partly about connecting with spirits. And usually if I get clients, of course they want to contact somebody who was very close to them, somebody who was a loved one and who passed away. And, you know, this is amazing work. It is so amazing to be able to help people with this work. And it is all about love and light, you know, as you must know or you must imagine that it is. Um, it is a basis of the psychic medium work that you come from the energy of love and compassion as you are serving others and you're helping people with this, these things, these issues um, that they are dealing with because they have lost somebody who mattered to them a lot and they miss them and they might want to have closure or clarity on something. And as well, they might have some questions in their minds or anything else that was not clear uh, before the person passed away. So, of course, these are very, very important issues um, for the client. And um, I just want to tell you guys about this a bit because I have not opened up about my psychic medium work before. So, I want to give you guys this video so that you can get a bit of insight into what I do and what is my take on <laughs> on this topic. So, I was called to this job as a light worker. This is my purpose. And I was called, literally called to this work by spirits, by angels, by God. So, officially, I work for God. And, you know, what I have to do is, is I have to come from the energy of love and compassion that is really my true essence. And um, in order for me to do this work, <clears throat> especially as a sensitive empath, highly sensitive person, um, I need to be able to maintain my energy fully, uh, to be grounded and centered, and to seeing the whole situation, seeing the client, feeling their energy, and also feeling the spirit's energy in, in that earth. Uh, um, compassionate way that is the whole basis of the work or well basically all the psychic mediums have to have this mindset if they are not if they're, if they're coming from <clears throat> uh, for example they're coming from low vibration it is not okay that's not where you, you should come from when you do this work you have to come from higher vibration as high as high as possible uh, because the spirits reside in heaven and heaven is the most highest um, vibrational place to be. So this is pure physics that you just have to come from that energy of that love and light and compassion. That is the highest. And of course, as a light worker anyway, I have to keep maintaining that energy within me and in my life and around me. Otherwise, I'm not able to fulfill my purpose and I'm not able to do my work. So as I work with angels and the spirits, um, I really have to tune in. Tune in to my higher self, operate from my higher self and, you know, trust the messages that I get that they are correct ones. But I just want to share a bit about my journey because it has been so amazing. Um, because I have had spirits contact me at home. Um, in in our, our current apartment and in our last apartments. So it was when it first all it all first started when I was being called to do this work. Um, it happened when I was living alone in my studio apartment 
and um, ever since the same events have been happening uh, in, <laughs> in all of the apartments where I have lived in and this is now third um, where I have seen these events happen and I have been contacted by my spirit guides as well. So it has been a um, big revelation for me, as you must understand, that not only other spirits have contacted me, but also my guides and, of course, angels as well. But I talk to angels every single day. I work with them every single day anyway. But spirits, um, they were something new. You know, I never expected to be a psychic medium. But then I found out that I am one. And it all happens when you are a psychic medium. The spirits recognize you and they come to you and they come to give you signs. They come to call you to your work. So you sort of have to follow that path. So if you um, don't know anything about this, um, and if you're wondering if you are a psychic medium too, um, this can be very possible if you feel like you are being into the spiritual realm. And for example, if you've been in dreams about it or um, you have received some other signs, uh, like for example, what happened to me was that clearly um, I got, uh, I got cl very for signs at our home um, with electrical devices, for example, and things moving around, um, things like that. So you might also get some sensa sensations like with angels as well. And also if you have passed loved ones, they pretty surely want to contact you as well. So they might be appearing to you in your dreams but also they can send signs such as butterflies or birds or any other type of signs that remind them, uh, remind you of them. Uh, possible memories that you share together, maybe songs on the radio, you know. So pay attention. Next time you feel like your past loved one is close to you, Pay attention to this. Pay attention to the vibe, the feeling, that the energy that you're getting, that you're sensing, because you can sense that. You can sense them. We are all psychic. We all have that sixth sense. So don't be scared and um, also trust what you're getting. Okay. But of course, if you want more information and if you want... Uh, more help, of course, you can, for example, book a session with me. I also give mediumship readings on video call, not on email. I, I give them on video call so that I can easily connect with my client's energy and their loved one's energy that way. So it's, it, it's, it's, it's a lot better to do that way. Um, so that is one option, of course. But... Also, you know, just trust what you're getting, what you're feeling. And I just want to tell you that you should not be afraid or scared. I see that a lot of people are suspecting themselves. If they receive signs or feelings by, you know, that their loved one might be around, they uh, very easily, they get scared. Or they are suspicious that this isn't right. But it's only... The human mind, the ego that is trying to tell you that, you know, it's, it's not true. So please trust the hunches or whatever you're getting, the signs or whatever, because our loved ones are always with us. They never leave us. Never, ever, ever do they leave us. They reside in heaven. Like I said, they reside in heaven uh, in, officially. Uh, us humans, we are in a third dimension and all the angels and spirits are in the fifth dimension. So they are in a high, higher one uh, and that is called heaven also. 
but um, anyway, they can always hear us and, and see us and they can always communicate us, c communicate with us if we only trust and let them. Uh, sometimes they can be like what happened to me. Uh, they can be like sort of sort of like coming over. That is what happened to me. It was like they were sort of pushing me like can't you see us but I believe it's only because you know this is my work that when they have messages they need to talk and, and they see that you're a medium <laughs> they can be very pushy in, in that way but yeah my job is to get their messages and you know help their loved ones about it about those things and um to pass them to the light so that's what I do and um, there's really nothing more to that so it's it's not anything like you know people usually think that this is like dangerous work or something but that isn't true that isn't the case and if you feel like you are dealing with some low vibration spirit then you just have to tell them as a medium you have to tell them to just go to the light and you know, work out what their issue is because they are not supposed to be low vibrational they are not supposed to be uh scary in that way no matter how we are taught this on tv or movies but that's not how it is supposed to be at all so they are usually always um, high vibrational and they reside in heaven. And heaven is such a wonderful place, beautiful place. So I wanted to share this video, quick video, um, so you know a bit more about me and what I do and also my insight on this topic. Feel free to ask any questions or give me your comments if any come up and uh, I'm looking forward to working with you privately one-on-one -on -one if we have not already. Thank you for following my work. Thank you for being love and light.